Well, like I've, you, you've heard me, it's well documented. I said when he came back, I could have conversations with him. He had, he had, he had color back in his face. He was like the kid that graduated from high school that came in. I don't know if you guys, it's like a 3.7 or 3.8 student, high SAT score. It wasn't one, you know, kids get going down wrong tracks sometimes. You know, I think one of the biggest things is, is being able to handle the pressure. You know, why do, why, do, why do people fall trapped to all those things that so many people in this world, you know, it's Casey Paha doesn't lead the charge on people not being able to handle pressure. And so how does he, how does he handle that? How does he do that? Well, you know, only time will tell. Uh, you know, it's because, you know, it's, we'll all make it about wins and losses. But, you know, for us, one of the reasons I think he wants to, he wants to get away from being about Casey and he wants to get it to being about TCU. How do we go win ball games? How do we beat LSU? How do we move forward in every ball game that we play? So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, for me personally, just uh, just the fact of being away from from what I what I love doing, uh, playing football, and being away from my teammates and friends. But uh, other than that, it's been a smooth transi transition coming back. Uh, I, I've matured a lot. Uh, every, everything that's happened has really humbled me and and helped me out as far as my mentality. So uh, every, everything that's happened happened for a reason, and I, I understand that now, and uh, I'm, I'm actually very grateful for it now. Uh, initially, I, I didn't say too much. I mean, uh, but at the same time, I, I could tell like, by the look in their eyes that they didn't have too much judgment. But I, I knew at the same time that I, I had let them down, but also um, Coming back, it wasn't too much what I needed to say. It was what I needed to do. And uh, fr from that point on, it, it was just a, a mentality that I had to have on and off the field uh, t to prove to them that, that they could trust me and, and uh, I could be their leader. Oh, it, it, it was pretty tough. Uh, watching those games on Saturday wasn't easy at all. Sometimes I couldn't even watch them uh, just because uh, see, seeing at times, seeing my team struggle, and seeing them, uh, like I, I know the feeling of losing, and it's not good. And just the feeling of how it felt in the locker room a few years ago when we would lose, and how they would probably be feeling after that. It, it, none of that was easy. Uh, honestly, anything any of them have to say is their opinion, and they're entitled to that. Um, I'm doing what what everything that's set forth for me, and I'm going to keep doing that. And no matter what anybody has to say, negative, positive, um, I, I can only control myself and control what I do. And that's what's going to keep me going forward. Uh, I, don't, I don't feel I have too much to prove to anybody. That I, I feel like for me and my teammates, it's all about each game of the season and, and, and winning each one of those. So it, it's nothing to prove to anybody else. I mean, that may come along with it. That they may seem like I'm, I'm proving something. But I really, I'm, I'm just wanting to line up on that field and uh, play with my teammates and friends. If, 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 anyone, if anyone were to be struggling at any point, uh, I'm more, more than happy to, to give them a little piece of advice or anything I can do to help them out to make sure that they don't fall off the bandwagon or anything like that. Because I know that sometimes uh, a lot of us, with, with all the stress of all, all of this stuff, uh, that it, 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 can, it can get a little little intense uh, and that's where like from the things I've been through I, I can just give a little bit of advice but that's all I can do and the rest is up to them well yeah I struggled with that aspect being away from the team the whole time but also like after about a week or two I, I did have that little moment of clarity and realized that I was screwing everything up and it, and it was completely my fault that I'm in the situation I'm in and uh, that and who all I let down and hearing what what happened with like with me and my family, like having them there to support me and stuff, really really helped uh, change my perspective of everything.